talking about my SawsomeCon 2015 experience. What the heck is SawsomeCon, you may ask? Well, it is an anime convention by where I live. You can look it up, because I'm not telling you where. I'm warning you, there's a lot, a lot of waiting in this story. And it's over the course of three days, so if it gets long, I'm really, really sorry. And the third thing, you will see me fangirl because of things that happen. Um, also, my cosplay for the entire weekend was cat ears, fake nails that were my cat nail, and this shirt. This is a full metal aqua shirt. Ta da! I love it. And then I was wearing a pair of jeans and tennis shoes. So I got dropped off with my cousin who could care less about what I was doing that week, and she didn't care at all, but I don't care about that. So I get in line, and about 10 minutes after I get in line, I hear this guy saying, whenever I say Sawsome, you say con, Sawsome con. And I didn't know it was Vic Mignogna. He plays Edward Elric, and he's my favorite voice actor, like, ever. So, yeah, that's the thing. After I finally get registered, I bolt to the main event room. And so, I'm sitting down, and I'm just, I'm casually looking around, and who do I see across the main event room? Vic. Yeah, I'm casually in the same room as Vic and Yana. I was, I was not okay. Uh, so, after the main events, I had two hours to go. So I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna go around and make new friends and see if I can find people from school. I did find a couple of my friends from school, and then I ran into a guy playing as Ed. His name was Ian. A girl playing Winry was sitting beside him. I, I just chatted with them. It's like, we've been best friends for a long time. When I had met them, just at contention. So finally, my my panel is starting, and we find out there's no no filming. And since it was voice actors Q and A, I thought Vic was gonna be there. Oh no no, he's not. So I was pretty upset. I had fun at that panel. It was a lot of fun. Uh, so after that, I went. What had happened? Whenever I was talking to Ed and Winry, I had met a guy playing Spider Thor. I cannot remember his name. And he came up to me and he introduced himself. Soft kitty, warm kitty. Yep, that's that's what happened. So he sees me, and I'm talking to him, and I say, I really want to go out with Vic. He's like, why? He said, because I've never been able to go out with anybody. So what does he do? He lets me go out with him. Okay, go for it. Oh! Oh, <laughs> go see him. It's so bad, don't listen. Oh my God. There you go. That was awesome. Yeah. It was the cutest thing ever, and I had button down with it. In the video, you can hear me go, UGH! <laughs> because I hit him with all of my might. It was amazing, though. And I told him how much I weighed. He said he could lift three of me, and I'm like, what are you, superhuman? I get in line for Vic signing, and I make more friends. I make a friend named Haley, and I'm sitting by Sam as well. So while I'm talking to Haley, I'm fangirling about meeting Vic for the first time in seven years. It had been seven years since I had met Vic. I had met him at AFW3, and I was 12. I am 18 now. So while I'm fangirling about that and talking to Haley, I don't notice. Vic casually walks right by me. Haley's freaking out. I'm like, what? She's like, look. And so I look, and I see Vic's, the back of Vic's head, and I'm just like... <sighs> I almost cried because I had finally seen him in the flesh. But, like, close in the flesh. <laughs> I was I was freaking out. So, we finally get inside, and I'm sitting towards the back. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna say hi to Vic. So, as Vic's coming around, he's coming towards the back because he's trying to move the seats to where everybody can just go, like, as it was, there was a chair blocking the row, so we would have to go in, weave in. So he was trying to fix it, so then the row behind us just had to go like that. Which he ended up doing that. But I was like, hi Vic. He's like, hi. After a while of waiting, I finally get in line. It's, yeah. I start freaking out, and I'm like, oh my god, I got to film it. Me being the dumb one, I don't really, I forget that I was supposed to film it. So I'm talking to Cashew, his handler, and 
I tell Cashy that I had been waiting seven years to meet him. Vic hears that, looks up at me, and says, Seven years? cutest moment ever and I missed it on film but I got the rest of it on video which you guys saw and if you didn't click the link below so after we talked for a little bit more um, I got my photo which in that photo you can see my smile and it oh, it is so genuine after I'm done there I head to the lobby and call my cousin while waiting for my cousin, I see a long line for something. I ask them, what in the world is this for? Um, they tell me that it's for Vic's other signing. I'm like, do I get in line for this? I just met Vic. Do I really want to get in line? No, I didn't get out, end up getting in line. But as I'm waiting for my cousin, um, I see Vic and I see him at the end of the, end of the table. And I just say, hi Vic! And he has his water bottle and he's like, he, he did that to me. <laughs> so, after that, my cousin came and picked me up, and I went home for the day. Saturday, I thought it was my last day. I did not think I was coming to, gonna come Sunday because I was going to church camp. Right on Sunday, I was going to church camp, so I was gonna have to miss Sunday. So, I get dropped off by my cousin's husband, and I go straight to the main event room. Key thing. If you have a panel at an anime convention that you really, 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 really want to go to, I wanted to go to Vic's panel. Go to the panel before your panel because you will get front row seats. I didn't think I would get front row seats because there was a, there was no seats left in front row at the panel before, so I thought I wasn't going to get one. But I ended up getting a front row seat for me and for Haley. When Vic finally comes in, I I was just done. I'm like, he's in the flesh, he's real, he's gonna be like that far away from me. I could, I, I could like touch, I could, I could touch him. <sighs> and as you guys know, halfway through the panel, I gave him the donuts. I gave him the donuts and they were crushed because they were in my bag the day, all day before. And I debated on giving them to him at the uh, autograph session, <laughs> but I'm like, no, I'm gonna wait until the panel. I was mean. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to give it to him next year whenever he comes, if he comes, but I may. And if Travis is there, I'm going to give him a photo and go. After the panel, Vic has another saying. I go to it. Vic tries to leave his donuts in the panel room. No, that is not okay. You will take your donuts. You will enjoy them. Ed grabs them, and once we both get into the room, I tell Vic, you forgot your donuts. Vic, what am I supposed to do with them? Me. I don't know. Eat them. Vic. They're crushed! Me. So, you still eat them. Vic. Best dis ever. I wouldn't even eat them if they weren't crushed. My hands are tied at that. I cannot deny that. This next photo. What I had gotten signed was the picture of him with Ed in the corner and my FMA DVD. So I'd asked him, can I get this photo with you? And I showed him the photo of me and Ricky. And he's like, oh, all right. I got that photo with him, and that is now my lock screen. It is an amazing photo, I love it, and... So after that, as I'm waiting, four hours, I had four hours to kill. What, I don't, what, what was I supposed to do for four hours? I was gonna be sucked there until 7.30. So what am I supposed to do for four hours? So after um, Vic's panel, I go to the boutique, and I just sit fangirling with Ian, and Ian's like, I can play a brother on the flute, because I was talking about my sister. And I'm like, play it! And then me and Haley get the best idea ever to have Ian play it for Vic. Vic agreed, and the video's up on my channel. Click the link in the description. You will fall in love with Ian. Vic fell in love with Ian. I went to a panel that was called, we didn't play test this panel. It was basic, it was trivia. And it was, it was pretty fun. I fell in love with it because um, they asked a bunch of questions about my favorite anime, and so after that was over, I was going to go up to the main event room to wait out for my event that I was going to. The event that was before mine, that was supposed to last until my panel, ended two hours early. Great. I have nothing to do for two hours. Waiting around. 
I run into none other than the old Spice Guy, the black guy. Not the new one. One that says, look at your man, now look at me. Now look back at your man, now back at me. Bill, he is an amazing person, he's so fun to be around, he's so sweet, he's funny, and he's quirky. I know my mom has a giant crush on him, so I'm like, can you please do a video for my mom? She is not able to be here, please. There you go. Richard. Hello, Evans, mom. I wish you were here, this makes me very sad. Yeah. So very sad. But it's okay though, because eventually one day, you and I will cross paths again. Because then my heart is forever yours. Till next time, Evans. He does the peck dance. I like that. After waiting two more hours, I was finally able to go to the main event room, and I got done with my panel. And the panels, I can't explain how fun they are because you are in the room with the same person like you look up to. And it was just, ah, I loved it. So then I go downstairs to wait for Wendy and Cynthia's signing because I wanted them to sign my autograph book. As I'm waiting, I sit down because I had been on my feet all day and my back was hurting. Ten minutes later, I hear the elevator door open. I look up and Wendy is walking by. I'm like, hi, Wendy. She's like, hi. After a while waiting, I, I finally get up to Wendy and I'm like, can you please do me a big favor? My sister's not able to be here. Can you say hi in Envy's voice for her? She willingly obliges. And that video is just, oh, I'm so happy for my sister. That's hi, Megan. Here, so. Wish you could be here. Apparently you're busy today. So I get to Cynthia and she signs my stuff. And in the photo, it may look like I don't like Cynthia but that's not the case. Cynthia got too close, like, I was like this around Wendy and I was gonna go around Cynthia as well, but Cynthia got too close so I couldn't move my elbow and I didn't want an elbow here in the stomach, so I just go like this around Wendy and it looks like I hate Cynthia, but I don't, she was really sweet. So after that, me and another girl, I think Ashley, go upstairs to the lobby to look for Vic because I heard Vic was going to be in the lobby and I wanted my sister to get her atomic key high. He was not in the lobby so I call my cousin thinking she's she's going to be there in a few minutes. No, she has something come up so I'm waiting. I'm stuck there with no ride and I'm missing my friend's birthday party. I was talking to Ian and I see Bill. I'm like, Bill! He sees me, he's like, you! And it comes trotting along down the hallway. I'm a dunce, and I don't think, put my stuff down. What had happened was, I had fake nails on, so if they come off, they, they hurt. Like, if they get ripped off, they hurt so bad. So what had happened was, is Bill, whenever he went to pick me up, like, he picked me up and spun me around. Oh my god. Gosh, I've always wanted somebody to do that to me, and I got, <sighs> it was, uh, it was amazing. What had happened was, Bill had hit, like, my hand went, I went like, I was gonna go like this, and, but, I, whenever I went like that, <laughs> my na he hit me, like, hit my hand so, hit hand so hard, my nail went from being like this, to that. So half my nail was broke off, and it was it was this finger. Yeah, it was my middle finger. I cannot tell you the pain I was in. God, it hurts just thinking about it. So I'm waving my finger on. He's like, "What's wrong?" I'm like, "My fingernail broke." He's like, "Oh!" So I rip off the other half of my nail, and so what does Bill do? He grabs my finger and kisses it. Ian's dad. And and come up to me and they're like, "What are you doing?" I'm like, "I'm probably just gonna go eat at the boutique out of the way of my cousin." Ian's dad's like, "No, you're coming with us." Ian's dad pays for my dinner. I met them the day before. He's paying for my dinner. I cannot describe how amazing that like that is. Why would he pay for my dinner? I met them yesterday. So after dinner. I asked my cousin if I can go Sunday because I realized the sign-in for camp is not until 3 and the panel that I want to go to ends at 2. 
So, I have an hour difference. She says yes. Ian and his dad picked me up the next day. I want to say thank you to them because that was the sweetest thing that anybody's ever done for me. I had never had somebody like that. It was like me and Ian were best friends <laughs> since like kindergarten or something. It, it was mind blowing. Turns out I get to go Sunday. So I go home with my cousin and the next morning I actually slept in until Ian and his dad got there. After we get to the hotel, we go to the main event room to, ha to get to the Cynthia, Lauren, and Wendy sign. I think it's Lauren. I'm not for sure. It was a very small signing because not very many people were there. So I show Cynthia the video of Ian playing the flute for Vic and Cynthia just falls in love with it and so does Lauren. After that, I go over to Vic's last signing. I was sitting over there and I went to the bathroom because I felt like I was going to be sick. It, I did not feel good. But after I went to the bathroom, I think about a minute later I felt fine. So I went out to Ashley, I had set my stuff down in my spot in line. Everybody was like, all the um, convention people were there, and I was like, what's going on? Everybody be seems depressed. And they tell me that housekeeping stole, like, there was self-defense people. I cannot remember their name, I'm so sorry. Their stuff had gotten stolen by housekeeping. And I was worried that Vic's room got stolen like hit because a couple of the rooms got hit I was like oh my god did Vic's room get hit I, I was asking Lauren and she's like oh I don't know and so after a while Vic came back down and his stuff was okay which I breathed, breathed a sigh of relief so after I get inside the room for Vic signing I'm like I swear I'm not stalking you he's like oh it's all right I asked him for the final photo and what photo I do I ask him for oh the casual kiss on the cheek. He's like, hey, yeah, sure. <laughs> I can't believe he actually did it. I am meeting good goals. <laughs> I'm sorry. So, after the meet and greet, I head to the main event room, and I wait for the FMA panel to start. I get a front row seat again. I got front row seat to all the panels I went to. I was so happy. <laughs> when uh, it was just Wendy and Cynthia, um, it was an FMA panel. When Vic finally comes in, because he came in late because of his signing, everybody's silent. And Wendy says, you're late, pipsqueak. <laughs> Wendy and Cynthia both said that it could be random. like. Totally random question. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I can ask Vic to give me the Tomiki coffee line. If you do not know what the coffee line is, look it up on here because it is the best line you will ever know. I tried at Vic's panel Saturday. It didn't work because he skipped over me after the donut story. I, I still got the donut story, but I still wanted my coffee line. I said, my question is for Vic. Like, hi, I know this is not FMA related, but can you do the coffee line for me? Why didn't you ask me earlier? And I told him, because you skipped over me after I gave you the donuts. And he was not gonna do it. And I was like, ah, I was gonna cry. I was like, that's the entire, that's one of the things I have been waiting for the entire weekend. I've been thinking, I'm like, I want this coffee line, please. What does Wendy do? She's like, just do it. Or Haley was amazing, she filmed. Vic whispering it in my ear, because I was like, I'm not sure myself, do I know the lines? I was like, yeah, I think so. Oh, we better rehearse. Right here, he whispers the lines in my ear, and I'm just like, I'm thinking to myself, he's whispering in my ear, what do I do? No! Ah. <laughs> so after the coffee line, I turn around and hug him, I'm like, thank you, I've been waiting for that all weekend. So. After the panel is over, I find my mom, because she came to pick me up, and before Vic left, I was like, Vic, can I have one more hug? He's like, yeah, sure. So I got one more hug, and then after that, I went to camp. And yeah, that is my Sossum Con experience. Uh, it was the best, like, <laughs> literally the best weekend of my life so far. Like, 
Ah, I had so much fun. I made so many friends. More friends than I am letting on, but I, oh, uh, it was amazing. So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna go, but I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!